I'm Dave McHugh, and I'm now joined by Doug Vance, Executive Director for COSIDA, and we're going to talk about a program that maybe a lot of people don't really appreciate or understand. That's the academic All-America for COSIDA. And first and foremost, I think a lot of people, including myself, have not quite understood. Certainly there's an academic side of this, but there's also an athletic side of this. And the one thing that I have always tried to understand a little bit better was which one trumps which? And I don't know if there's a good answer there, but I'm, I'm, I'd love to hear your, your point of view on it. Well, the term student athlete indicates that you're a student before you're anything else. And, and I think that's the purpose of, of a university is that, that our athletes are also students and we can't forget that aspect. So uh, being a student is first and foremost, I think, in, in, on a university campus. When you do you, when, when you these are nominated, I mean, they, in their cross divisions and across um, um, uh, different NCAA, et cetera. I mean, everything NAIA. When you look at this program, what is the biggest message you want people to understand with how it works or what its intention is? Well, I, I think that the intention is pretty easy. We want to focus the spotlight on student athletes. That's that's what we're all about as sports information directors to is to bring attention in a positive way to our student athletes. So academic achievement uh, is very significant, and we want the we want our fans to know that our athletes are students and, and are successful students. Uh, the, the clear message that I always received was uh, giving our student athletes an opportunity to be successful not only in competition but in the classroom. And the Academic All America program helps illustrate that. Um, we honor over 2,000 student athletes each year across 22 sports and four divisions. Uh, we've honored over 20,000 since the program's inception in 1952. So it's it's a very special program. There's nothing else like it out there, and it brings attention to a very positive a aspect of our student athletes' life. What's amazing I find about it is that there's obviously a lot of great student athletes who are really tremendous students. Mm -hmm. It almost seems like you guys have to get kind of put in a scenario where you're picking hairs to really select who are your All-Americas and, and who deserves first or second or whatever. How challenging is it with such what seems like a deep, deep um, level of, of students? Right. Well, that's a good problem to have, obviously, sure. and it's a good message that it is difficult, but it's 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 a very uh, difficult process. It is a voting process. It is a judgment process, but we have clear criteria uh, in place uh, to, to do make that judgment. Uh, also, you have to be a member of our organization to both nominate and to vote, uh, but our sports information directors take this responsibility very seriously. Uh, they devote a lot of time and attention in making those decisions, and uh, uh, you can be honored on a district and on a national level. Uh, we also have an academic All-America Hall of Fame in which we recognize some of the great uh, athletes uh, of our time uh, throughout the years, some great names, uh, Bill Bradley and Rebecca Lobo and, and many, many others. And uh, Dick Enberg is our spokesperson. So uh, it's a very, very special award, one we're very proud of as an organization. If I put you on the spot a little bit, if you don't mind, <clears throat> Get the frog out of my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Three, two, one. If I put you on the spot, if you don't mind, what are the criteria, as it were, to nominate and thus what really sports information directors are looking at when they end up trying to choose right. district in all America? Right. Yeah. There are there is some specific uh, aspects of the qual of to be qualified to be eligible. You have to be a starter or a significant player on your particular team. You have to have a three point three grade point average. Um, and those are the two th uh, aspects that are most important when we, when we look at candidates. I think over 15,000 student athletes get nominated uh, each year. Um, and it, it is a very, very difficult process to, to narrow it down for the selection of the final team. I was going to say 15,000 down to about 2,000 who get All-America. Mm -hmm. Certainly a, a rarefied error, as it were. Anything about the program that you appreciate the most? Well, you know, to me, when we talk to some of the student athletes that are honored and some of the uh, thoughts they had, I, I recently saw a, a student athlete from back in the 50s uh, who was a great uh, athlete, he earned All-America honors, had a great career, passed away, and, and his wife was quoted as saying the most meaningful honor he'd ever had was being named Academic All-America. 
I think the student athletes take a lot of pride in that honor, and it means a lot to them. And and uh, as our sports information director is fine, they're very appreciative of getting this particular achievement. If I were to put you on the spot again, anything you'd change about it to improve it? I wish we could honor more student athletes. There's so many deserving ones. Um, and when it comes time to narrow the field, it's it's a difficult process when you look at people who you feel are very qualified, who have uh, high GPAs, who achieve on the in, in the uh, field of competition, who are involved in communities. We just have so many slots and to honor so many student athletes. Uh, there are many more deserving than, than we have uh, spots on a team. And I'll ask the loaded question then, do you want more nominations? Is this something that you feel like maybe student athletes at certain places aren't being recognized because maybe no one knows about the program on Right. I think I think our SIDs do a terrific job of, 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 of finding those qualified candidates uh, and making those, those selections. It's difficult for them too. Um, but uh, no, I, 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 think, I think the SIDs are, are getting the job done in terms of nominations. But again, you have to be a member of our organization to be able to nominate. And that's a real key uh, that's important to us that, that our SIDs are engaged and involved in the program. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain it. Certainly a, a very good honor for many, especially those who have achieved far better in the classroom uh, than many would expect for student athletes. Appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, Dave. Thanks so much. Okay.